इट ऑलवेज सीम्स इम्पॉसिबल अंटिल इट्स डन नमस्कार वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट आई एस I hope you are doing well. In this video, we will cover major species which were recently in the news, and they are also relevant for UPSC. So, without wasting any time, let's start today's discussion with elephants. Because recent study shows that elephant call each other by name. Talking about elephants, they are the largest land mammals on earth, and as you can see, they have massive bodies. Large ears and long trunks. They are known to have keen memory and problem-solving skills and sophisticated communication. They have the longest pregnancy of all mammals. They eat grasses, leaves, shrubs, fruits, and roots depending on the season and their habitat. There are three subspecies of elephants, which includes African forest elephant, Asian elephant, and African savanna elephant, which is the largest elephant species. And do you know, friends? Asian elephants differ in several ways from their African relatives. For example, Asian elephants' ears are smaller compared to the large fan-shaped ears of African species, and only some males Asian elephants have tusks, while both male and female African elephants grow tusks. IUCN Red List of Threatened Species classifies African forest elephant as critically endangered species. But Asian elephant and African savanna elephant are categorized as endangered species. The greatest threat to African elephants is poaching for illegal ivory trade. While Asian elephants' populations are most at risk from habitat loss and resulting human-elephant conflict. Now let's know the protection status in India. So friends, government of India has declared the Asian elephant as national heritage animal. And it is also included in Schedule One of the Wildlife Protection Act, 1972. And do you know, friends, India's proposal to include Great Indian Bustard, Asian Elephant, and Bengal Florican in Appendix One of the UN Convention on Migratory Species was accepted in 2020. Talking about the importance of elephants. They help maintain forest and savanna ecosystems for other species and are important ecosystem engineers. They make pathways in dense forest habitat that allow passage for other animals. Now let's know about katla fish and it is in the news because United Nations recent report revealed that katla was one of the top 10 species of aquatic animals harvested by humans in 2022. Katla is a non-predatory fish and its feeding restricted to the surface and mid-waters. Its natural distribution is governed by temperature dependency rather than latitude and longitude. It is a eurythermal species that grows best at water temperatures between 25 to 32 degrees Celsius. Do you know friends, eurythermal species can tolerate a wide range of temperatures. Talking about distribution of katla fish, it is endemic to riverine systems in northern India, Indus plain and adjoining hills of pakistan bangladesh nepal and myanmar it has also been introduced in sri lanka israel japan and mauritius and iucn red list of threatened species classifies katla as least concern and you know friends katla as well as two other important indian carps rohu and mrigal are the three of the most farm fish in india's inland fisheries now let's know about prejewalski's horses because they arrived from europe to their native homeland in kazakhstan they are named after russian explorer nikolai prejewalski they are the world's last remaining genetically wild species of horse talking about their distribution today there are nearly 1000 prejewalski horses in mongolia china and kazakhstan an iucn red list of threatened species classifies them as endangered and do you know friends prejewalski horses grazing benefits pollinators small mammals and ground nesting birds helping restore the steppes ecosystem now let's know about para para trichina nila which is a new ant species and it was discovered from siang valley in arunachal pradesh it belongs to the rare genus para para trichina and as you can see it is a blue color insect it marks the first addition to the para para trichina genus from indian subcontinent since the description of the sole previously known species piaceta 121 years ago talking about its description it has been described as a small ant with total length of less than 2 mm its body is predominantly metallic blue and head is subtriangular with large eyes talking about siang valley it is part of eastern himalayas and its name is derived from mighty brahmaputra river which in arunachal pradesh is known as siang river now let's know about madagascar baobab which is a small to large tree endemic to madagascar it can live for 1000 years and it grows in dense dry deciduous forest on limestone sandstone 
as well as sub or coastal moist forest on sandy or chalky soil it is threatened by its habitat loss destruction due to human activities such as shifting agriculture illegal logging and wood harvesting annual fire extraction of wood for charcoal and timber and mining talking about its utility it is used for some medical cares and its seeds and bark are also exploited for extracting cellulose iocn red list of threatened species classifies madagascar baobab as least concern species and now madagascar baobab forest are being restored with the help of artificial intelligence talking about madagascar it is an island country located in the indian ocean of the coast of southern africa In the last let's attempt today's question which is based on previous slides and in this question species in use and their IUCN red list status is given and here first is katla and its status is vulnerable prejewalski horses and its status here is endangered and last is madagascar baobab and here its status is given least concern you have to answer how many of the above pairs are correctly matched and your options are only one only two only three and none mark your presence and write your answers in the comment section so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms